This video is to go over a feature within market analysis uh, called find nearest. Uh, I also like to think of it as distance to store. And so with this function, we'll be able to see how far somebody has to travel to get to the nearest store. You can think of it that way. So this function is found within market analysis and it's this option right here called find nearest locations. Uh, if you have our standard version, you can do this with a straight line distance only. Uh, if you want to do drive time or drive distance, then that would take pro. And for this scenario, we're going to do uh, drive times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the pull down list and I'm going to choose drive time. And this top section is the first data set. And so this is the column that will add additional columns to. And then the second option is the data set and we'll uh, the second option is the second data set. So you can think of it as customers and stores. And we're going to see how far a customer has to travel to get to the nearest store. I'm going to leave it on no max time. And I'm going to just let the column be store. And you can do up to the 20 nearest store locations for that customer. Uh, but for the sake of brevity, I'm going to just choose one. And I'll click next. There is in Pro a limit to the number of drive time calculations that you can do. And so this screen here will tell you how many credits you have left in your account and how many it's going to take up. For something, something like this, it's only gonna require 0.3 credits. And we'll click next. And we'll click done. And now we have these additional columns. And so we have the store name in one column and then the drive time in minutes uh, to, the, to the next location. What you'll see in the bottom right corner is our choose columns button. And what this will do is it allows you to add or remove data from your data set. I have a whole bunch of data in this uh, customer list. And so if I wanted to, I could grab some of these. I can hold down the shift button, press the up button, and then press this left arrow and make those go away. If I wanted to tidy up my data set, I can also use it to move the location. So I'm gonna just put these right up next to the customer name, just so it makes sense for us. So I'm gonna click set data columns. And now our columns are reordered. And I can now see that I have store one and I have store two down here. And so I can see that Tim's computer and furniture, the closest store is store one and the closest, uh, the drive time distance will be uh, 33 minutes. And so it's gonna assign all of these locations and see what the closest store is. In this case, uh, Gam Air Inc. Closest store is store two, and it's going to be 58 minutes away. If you have any questions, please let us know. And thanks, and have a great day.